This video demonstration presents a low-cost, low-power, text-based digital communication system. The aim of this system is to be able to establish a connection independent of any nearby mobile or Wi-Fi networks while achieving as long of a range of communication as possible. The system utilises the ESP32, which is a microcontroller unit developed by Espressive Systems known for its wireless connectivity and power management capabilities which make it the ideal solution to this project. The pins on the ESP32 support a variety of input and output devices, and in this project both 4x4 and 5x4 matrix keypads are integrated as inputs to control the functionality of each ESP32, and these OLED displays are integrated as outputs to display information. When the system is powered on for the first time, the OLED displays show this title screen where we can see that for the 4x4 setup, star clears a message and hash sends a message, and for the 5x4 setup, escape clears the message and enter sends the message. The keypads allow for custom messages to be input, which are displayed on the OLED display as I run through each of these buttons on the 4x4 keypad. There's also a limit to the sizes of the message to prevent the system from crashing. As I fill up the message on the 5x4 setup, when I reach the maximum size, a notification will be displayed on the OLED and I'm prevented from adding any more characters to the message. Although the 4x4 and 5x4 keypads only allow for fairly primitive messages to be input, all these other pins available on the ESP32 can be utilised to increase the size of the keypad and allow for more customization. The ESP32 communicate with each other through ESP Now, which is a Wi-Fi communication protocol also developed by Espressive Systems, and its implementation in this project allows for the system to achieve secure, direct, two-way communication between each device. And as you can see visualised on this figure on the poster here, this communication is independent of any normal nearby Wi-Fi networks. ESP now uses callback functions for when a message is transmitted and received. When a message is transmitted, ESP now determines the delivery status of the transmission and displays it on the OLED. When a message is received, the OLED display is updated to show the message until another key is pressed. And note that I can send the message that was saved on this to the other ASP32. Using ASP now combined with the ASP32's long range Wi Fi protocol, the system is able to achieve much longer ranges of communication than normal. The range of communication of the system was tested using these three decibel external antenna currently attached to the system, as well as six decibel antenna shown on the table here. Range of communication is maximised when a line of sight is maintained between each ESP32, but the impact of losing this line of sight to interference was also tested. As visualised on these figures on the poster, while maintaining line of sight, the 3 decibel external antenna was able to achieve a range of over 1500 metres, the 6 decibel external antenna was able to achieve a range of over 2500 metres, and when line of sight was lost due to the interference of trees, the range for the 3 decibel antenna dropped to just over 300 metres. The ASP32 also offers light and deep sleep modes that greatly reduce power consumption. On the 5x4 keypad, light sleep was assigned to the F1 button and deep sleep was assigned to the F2 button. The power consumption of the system was measured using this USB multimeter connected between the power bank and the power input of the ASP32. While active, we can see that the current drawn is measured at 0.144 amps. When put into light sleep, the current drawn drops to 0.014 amps. And when put into deep sleep, the current drawn drops to 0.012 amps. And if you try to send a message to an ESP that is in sleep mode, ESP now delivery will fail.